Was Ja Morant's apology appropriate? Some questioned Ja Morant on Jalen Rose's interview after his recent actions. After receiving a generational five-year $194 million contract less than a year ago, Ja Morant's recent events have surprised me. Ja has made two All-Star teams, won individual awards, and helped the Grizzlies succeed. Yet he's considered quitting. Ja Morant is worse. Adam Silver's response to Ja's second gun incident shocked the NBA and Memphis Grizzlies. The child sought treatment and left the NBA and Grizzlies to focus on his recovery. Overall good hearing this was an eye-opener for many because even those who were harsh in their criticism of Ja can understand how important mental health can be in this day and age, and when it isn't used as an excuse, which is very sadly a thing now unfortunately. This wouldn't be the first time Ja has struggled with mental health problems. A couple of years ago, Ja discussed his mental health difficulties during and after the NBA. Even carrying a weapon at that nightclub would disqualify him from all team events. Adam Silver called Ja's first nightclub gun flash irresponsible, dangerously reckless. Ja's behavior could have serious consequences given his enormous following and influence, particularly among fans who look up to him. To round things out, Silver would show a level of understanding that you'd like to see from a commissioner, saying that Ja has also made it clear to me that he's learned from the incident and that he understands his obligations and responsibility to the Memphis Grizzlies and the broader NBA community extends well beyond his play on the court. Ja was initially suspended eight games by the NBA, which I think was fair. I know some people don't want to hear that, but to me, it's true that when you're in the NBA making that kind of money most people dream of, as Charles Barkley said, there are certain things you can't do. And unfortunately, what Ja did was one of them. After Memphis lost to the Lakers in the playoffs, Ja did the same. Honestly, I thought it would be a while before he'd had another incident that could get him suspended, but obviously that would not be the case. Morant would go on to flash his gun again, this time on his friend's Instagram Live. And what did look like an accident in the sense that Morant just did not know that his friend was live. As soon as his friend sees Ja flashing that gun, he tries to get out of the frame as fast as possible. Which would bring me to the question, if Ja before the 2023 NBA lottery, Adam Silver said he was astonished when he watched the footage and that the league was investigating. Silver looked disappointed and Ja Moran could be facing a lengthy suspension before Game 1 of the NBA Finals. We found a lot of fresh material and we could have brought it to a head immediately, but it would be unjust to these players and clubs to reveal that decision in the middle of this series. That's awful. Adam Silver is building hype for suspension. If I were Ja, I would probably be a bit worried. This suspension will be significant for people around the league who believe he will be suspended for no less than the first half of the regular season. As mentioned, I still think a message will be delivered, but I hope his time off helps him stay off social media and grow. Leave your thoughts below.